Ludwig snuck into Tyler's meet and greet at TwitchCon. This is the moment that Lud took off his mask to reveal himself. We have the story time coming about this later today. If you don't know, as a part of me meeting Tyler, we made a bet, him and I, to get platinum in League of Legends. And I have some good news. When I originally did my first five placement matches, I ranked into Iron 1. And after about uh, maybe five to ten hours of gameplay, I have deranked to Iron 2. We are losing more than winning. So, nowhere up but down. Or however they say it. Uh, gender swapped Lud and Cutie. I had fun playing League with you. Me too. Let's play tomorrow. Wow, she f***ing sucks. I love playing games with him. Yeah, this happened recently. I'll show you a tale of an OP.GG. Uh, the other night, me and Cutie are watching TV. At some point, she's like, yeah, I want to play League. And I'm like, all right. So we boot up a game of League. In fact, we boot up a couple games of League, right? We play this game, this game, and then this game. Now, you might notice that after those games, I continued to play a couple of others. <laughs> and you might notice that after those games, Cutie also went on to play a couple of others. Just without me. She messaged after the game, and she was like, yeah, I'm going to go play solo. And I can't even flame her because after our back-to-back -back losses, uh, I guess we went, we went, what do we do? We went one and two. She won her next game. I think she won like, she went like two and two or some shit. She won't even play with me, bro. She won't even play with me. And she's bronze four now, and I'm fucking stuck iron two. Fuck me, man. Connor, I need you. I need a lover who would never leave my side. No matter how much I feed, bro. And I'm not even playing that bad, by the way. Real shit, I'm not even playing that bad. I'm not even playing that bad. Okay, my Mundo game was bad because I'm not good at top lane. But, like, straight up, look, man. Like, 668, 888, that's not bad. This game was really bad. This game was really bad. You know, but these games aren't bad. 888 is a good stat line. Your Jin goes 4-14. Four and 14. What's a man to do? I can't win that. 4-14? Four and 14? That's tough. That's tough. No positive games? No, okay. 1-1-10 one, one and 10 is an amazing game. That's an, ama an all-star performance. 1-1-10? One, one and 10? I died hitting the Nexus to win the game. Joey Bot thing of the 50 gifted. You went 1-6-1. One, 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 okay, this game was really f***ed. I'm not going to lie. This game was f***ed up. I understand that I did bad. Bro, I, I, it was my first ever Mundo game. It was a mistake. I shouldn't have done it unranked. Anyway, anyway, look. We're definitely hitting plat. We're definitely hitting plat for real. Like, literally, no doubt in my mind that we freaking nail plat. All right, I went from Iron 1 to Iron 2 in a week. In a month, I'll probably see you at Iron 3. Give me three months, I'm at Plat. The math doesn't maybe work in your head, but it works in mine. This is the post I really wanted to talk about. Lud hitting Platinum in League of Legends before January is impossible. Let's say Ludwig is currently at Bronze 4 while Blood is at Iron 1 at the time of this post. And his goal is to reach Platinum 4, a difference of 1,200 LP. Now, assuming he averages 24 LP per win, this means he would need 50 consecutive wins or net 50 wins. That doesn't sound like much, but it is. Now, considering that an average league game takes 40 minutes, there are three possibilities. He doesn't improve as a player, and his win rate is less than 50%. Nothing much should be said. He stays in the same rank or gets demoted to iron. He becomes an insane player after all the coaching sessions with a win rate of about 70%. If his win rate averages this high across all ranks, he would need 125 games or about 84 hours of playtime. 
He becomes decent good after a coaching session and achieving a win rate of 55%. In this case, he would need a total of 500 games of league, which amounts to 334 hours of playtime over three months. That's more than three times the amount of time he has spent on Lovers vs. the World. In my personal opinion, I think possibility three is the most likely outcome, but I don't really think Ludwig can commit 334 hours of, uh, uh, in three months to League of Legends, especially if he plans to do Ludlock or other events in between. I have three things to say to this person. To, to the first thing, <laughs> uh, keep spending your time on Reddit. <laughs> it is best used there, okay? While I'm on the rift honing my blade, you are discussing the use of the blade. Embarrassing. <laughs> Thing number two, never tell me the odds. Because people time and time again love to come in and say, I've done the math. It's statistically impossible for Ludwig to hit 1,003 point shots. What were they proven? Wrong. I've done the math. There's no way Ludwig is going to beat Lovers vs. the World in a month. I proved them wrong. And yet again, I have people, when I'm telling them my goal, that I can't achieve it. Okay. All right. I don't need to say shit anymore. I don't care to prove you right or wrong. Okay? Cuz there's cuz there's cuz there's fucking analysts. All right? And there's doers. You know what you are, I know what I am. I remember the Reddit post that used to use stats to prove Ludwig would never hit a thousand three point single stream. I remember the Reddit post that would prove that Ludwig Connor would take months to complete God Gamer. He's going to find a way to hit plat, he will simply do it. I trust Lud more than the so-called numbers. <clears throat> he needs a lot of effort put into league to hit plat. There's such a steep curve to this that he has such a small percent of already known compared to basketball or their challenge. Do you really think for a f minute that I know more about basketball than League of Legends? Can you get a grip all right can you get a grip i am not closer to lebron james than i am to faker i'm just not there's zero percent chance yes you are you you guys and i mean this so sincerely who are saying you are are the dumbest motherfuckers on this earth. Because given 20 years of grinding, if I spend the next 20 years of my life trying to get to where LeBron is, I will not get one fucking one thousandth of the way there. Given 20 years to get to where Faker is, I will not get to where he is. he's at. But I factually, I factually will be one of the better league players I just will be. 100%. Alright? Straight up. It is so much easier. It is so much easier. Technically? I also mean technically. I know you fucking Oonga Boonga idiots think that basketball is big man score big point. That's not how it fucking works. The amount of shit that they're doing on the court, set plays, screens, knowledge you have to have on positioning in basketball is insane. Fucking reading the defense. Like, like that shit is crazy, bro. It's not Oonga Boonga, big man score dunk. Right? I mean, that shit doesn't help me either, to be clear, but... Nah, you guys are smoking. You guys are smoking. League macro is crazy. I'm not saying it's not. I'm not saying this challenge is easy. I'm just saying I'm going to do it. That's it. That's it. I'm just going to. It will be done. Okay? So now you can spend the next three months telling me why I'm wrong. Writing up your fucking Reddit posts. Jerking your own dick because you were able to write three paragraphs for the first time since high school, or you can just sit back and fucking watch it happen. Those are your options. Do do I? I don't care. I don't care. For me, I don't care. Because I'm doing it either way. 